My name is Lawrence Toulouse. I'm from Manitoulin Island. The program is really, really great. The training centers have given me a more broader professional view to it and it's just really interesting to learn how to do things right, how to make it look good and just be a good worker, be a professional. My name is Alba Fidrisi. I am part of the Hammerheads program. As much as a boot camp it is, it is hard, it is tough. It gets you to wake up in the morning, you know, and just dedicate that time here with us, just doing the right things and drilling everything into our head, you know, this is how we need to act, this is how we need to perform. Just giving it our all to do everything that we can. Hammerheads was created by the Central Ontario Building Trades and designed to be a 12-week boot camp style comprehensive skills development youth program. We train both men and women from under-resourced and Aboriginal communities for a registered apprenticeship career within the skilled construction trades. Currently, we run three intakes of 15 to train 45 youth per year. Hi, my name is James St. John and I'm the Business Manager, Financial Secretary of the Central Ontario Building Trades, as well as being the Director of the Hammerheads Program. Candidates applying to Hammerheads must be between the ages of 18 and 26, with a minimum grade 10, math, English and science, and are required to be engaged with an employment or social services agency, and must be referred by their caseworker or job coach. Hammerheads is the creation of the Central Ontario Building Trades and our 25 affiliates representing over 80,000 men and women in the construction industry. It costs over $1.2 million to run Hammerheads annually. Of that, over $700,000 comes by way of in-kind donations and support from COBT affiliates and key industry partners like Tridel's Bolt Program, Concert Properties, Dickies, Stanley, Black & Decker, YMCA and the Ontario Construction Secretariat. However, none of this would be possible without the unconditional support we receive from my 25 affiliates as they provide us access to state-of-the-art training facilities as well as utilizing the expertise of their trade school instructors and consumables. As a community-based organization, we have partnered with our local Toronto sports teams, such as the Marlies, the Argos, the Rock, and the Toronto FC. We utilize these sporting events to assist with fundraising efforts through a COBT featured night where our affiliates and key industry partners purchase tickets to a specific game with a portion of the ticket sales going back to support Hammerheads. One of the largest expenses currently associated with Hammerheads is transportation at a cost of about $85,000 a year. Our affiliate training centers are located in and out of the city and they're not all TTC friendly locations. So we provide transportation to our participants. We have two pickup and drop off locations, one in the east and one in the west end of the city. We have partnered with Frontier College to provide mandatory academic upgrading for our participants. Each of our participants is assessed and a specific tailored education plan is developed to prepare them to meet the minimum education requirements to enter the trades. They attend night school twice weekly with a general focus on math as it is such a key component in every construction trade. first day of the program is typically a shock to most of these youth. They come into the program thinking it will be like other programs they've been in where everybody is going to be really nice and they can sit back, relax and get something at the end of it. It's very quickly shown to them that they have to put an effort in everything that they do. The first thing that we address is them sitting up, making eye contact with the person that's speaking. I'm Peter Reed. I'm the field coordinator for the Hammerheads program. I'm also the business agent for the Central Ontario Building Trades. The unique thing about the Hammerheads program is that we take youth coming in from under-resourced neighbourhoods and transform them into construction workers. In the industry, we're getting paid a good amount of money to produce, so part of that producing is moving at a pace that construction moves at. 
On the first day, I take the entire class for a one to two kilometer walk around the office, up the sidewalk and down into the park behind the office and back up. I show them the pace they're expected to walk at from that point forward. Then we get into addressing the clothes that they wear, what it says about them and what image they want to portray as being a worker trying to break into the industry. Fortunately for us, we have partnered with Dickies Canada. Dickies provides each of our participants with jeans, work pants, overalls, long sleeve and short sleeve shirts, and a high visibility vest, along with a pair of CSA certified steel toe work boots. So now they look like construction workers. They're wearing the same gear, same brands. We can't expect these youth would have the means to spend hundreds of dollars on new clothing, so this really helps out and contributes to their professionalism in the eyes of the employers. Another donating party that has been a great partner for Hammerheads has been Stanley, DeWalt, Black & Decker. They have always donated tool sets for all of our graduating Hammerheads. So that's a toolbox with all the basic screwdrivers, hammer, pliers, wrenches, everything they would need for basic tools to start up. What's extremely important to all of us in the Hammerheads program is that all of the youth in the program go home every night with all of their fingers and all of their toes and no injuries. Safety is critical in our industry and a top priority with all of our union affiliates and training centers. They start off with two weeks of health and safety training provided by one of our partners, the Workers Health and Safety Center. We teach them things like the basic WEMIS, fall arrest or working at heights, confined space training, lockout, tagout, propane handling, electrical hazard awareness, basic health and safety learning about the act and regulations, what we would refer to as the Green Book, as well as CPR and first aid training. So by the time they have finished those two weeks, they have usually eight or nine different health and safety courses. The first two weeks was very tough. Um, you know, it was very comprehensive and, you know, you learn a lot and it's the kind of training that one day can save your life or a life of a coworker. After they complete their safety training, we expose them to the hands-on portion of the program, which takes place at our state-of-the-art affiliate training centers, where they receive cutting-edge training from seasoned instructors with years of professional experience, allowing our participants to see, touch, and feel a broad range of skilled trade options, something that is unique to hammerheads. As an example, Today, we are here at the Plumbers and Steamfitters Local 46's Training Center, just as we visit the Boilermakers, Bricklayers, District Council 46's Glaziers, Painters and Tapers, Electricians, Elevators, Insulators, Ironworkers, Laborers, Marble and Tile, Operating Engineers, Refrigeration, Sheet Metal and Sprinkler Fitters. Hammerheads wholeheartedly believes in being engaged in our communities. With each of our Hammerhead classes, spending time cleaning our parks, community centers, or sometimes shoveling snow for residents. The vast majority of the youth we serve are either residents of Toronto Community Housing or have been or are currently in receipt of Ontario Works. We also accept youth from the shelter system and from the Children's Aid Society. So when you get out there on your first day, it's going to be nervous, but you're going to be doing a lot of the same stuff that you did in the training centers. So, you know, don't let fear get in your way. It's just hard work. You got to be moving at all times. You got to find something if there isn't something to do. You got to think about what are the tasks. Watch what's going on around you so that you're never just standing still and that we have that go-go mentality at all times throughout the day. Uh, Peter's going to then follow up the form at the end of the first day to see how you did. When they go and start on their first day of work, I go down with them. Construction sites are very big and intimidating. I meet them on their first day, take them into the site to meet with their new foreman. I follow up with them weekly for the first three weeks and monthly for the entire first year of their working career to make sure that they're remembering to do all the things that we've taught them. And make sure they get through any struggles that you can have starting off in construction so they have a good chance of making this a lasting career, not just a short-term job. My name is Kwok Chuang. As the alumni of the Hammerheads program and co-chair member of the Youth Advisory Committee, I can personally vouch for the program in its opportunities for success in education. Hammerheads provides those without experience or knowledge a window of opportunities with endless achievements and provides them with a rewarding career.
part of the other thing that we're looking for is these kids, you know, a lot of them are coming from uh, high priority neighborhoods and we want to ensure that Infrastructure Ontario is creating jobs locally. Uh, the reality is, is our kids don't necessarily have the means or own cars and they can't they don't have the ability to travel to get to the job site. So having infrastructure uh, and all levels of government write in mandatory specific language that creates opportunities locally so these kids can hop on the TTC and, and be able to get to work is very imperative for their success and our success. Because if you can't access the job, then the job isn't much good to you. And you know, with construction, uh, all of our job starts are seven o'clock in the morning. Some are 6.30, so a lot of the public transportation doesn't even run at that time. You know, they have to be up at 5 on the bus at 5.30 in order to get to work for 6.30. So it's imperative that, you know, we're looking and we're creating these jobs locally. My name is Steve Martin, the Business Manager, Financial Secretary of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 353. Local 353 dedicates our trainers, our office space, and our workshop space for members of Hammerheads to learn what is required to be successful in the electrical industry. I'm very happy to say that this local in its entirety, all 10,000 members, support the Hammerheads program. Our contractors, 675 of them strong, believe in this program. It takes young people out of under-resourced areas in the, in the City of Toronto and gets them into a trade. And I'm very happy that Local 353 will always and has always supported this program. And it's a pleasure to have them in our system. They fit in with our mainstream apprentices as they come through. Nobody sees the difference between them. their learning capabilities, their, their performance on the job, and their schooling is above reproach. Some of our best apprentices have come out of the Hammer and Heads program. It really works for all the youth, the community, and the construction trades. I'm Terry Snooks, business manager of Local 46. UA Local 46 strongly supports the Hammerheads program. Every year, we donate our time and training facilities to introduce these young adults to some of the skills required to become an apprentice in the fight for trades. Hammerheads is a life-changing opportunity, not only for these young adults, but for their families and communities as well. The elevator constructors are, are very happy with the program. We've taken in some hammerheads. We've had very good results with them. Our signatory companies in the elevator business are, are very happy with, uh, with the apprentices as they come out. I think it's a well worth program being run by the uh, Central Ontario Building Trades, which has is, is resonated very well with, with everybody. And um, we believe that and support this program and, and will for a long time. Hi, I'm Darren Mahoney from the Ironworker 721, also a director of Hammerheads. We've been working with Hammerheads now for well over five years. We have Hammerheads currently in our local, all working quite successfully. The whole union accepts them and they're proud members of 721.